Why does he wear a swimming cap on stream? It's not a swimming cap. Yes, it is. And even if not, it still makes him look like a douche. Oh, yes, it is. Really embarrassing to be so confidently wrong. Today, I learned a hexagon has eight sides. It has what? The disappointment I felt when I realized that at least 6,700 plus people don't know that a stop sign is a hexagon and not an octagon. <laughs> wait, wait, a stop sign is a what now? It's a what? Whatever, man. When I was six, my sister was half my age. Now I'm seven. How old's my sister? 35. Let's have a hard one next time, please. That sure is a lot of likes on that. I genuinely don't know if they're called... They're not called that on Facebook, are they? Because you've always got these stupid little emojis down here now. So I don't know. Is it just you get to react with anything, I guess, now? He couldn't figure out this basic math rule. Even after the website, he linked proved him wrong. Wait, really? I love that. Okay, that means less than five. That means more than five. How are y'all so dumb? This is defined as the greater than sign. This is defined as the less than sign. Replacing the signs with words, you said greater than five means less than 5.5. Greater than means more. Your second example of this, because I'm stupid and can't remember any signs from math, it's actually helpful that I'm reading this right now, is greater than the number to the right. You must not have read the website you linked to. It actually disproves you. You're simply just wrong. So confidently wrong. Wrong. Look it up, lol. I did. You are wrong. <laughs> you fool. You're wrong. But you know what's not wrong? The new merch over at mkshop.com. Make sure you use code boobin at checkout to get yourself free shipping. For those who clearly don't know basic multiplication and math, 3 plus 2 equals 5, and 5 times 3 equals 15. Therefore, 3 plus 2 times 3 equals 15. H uh Update on what they said after I told them it is not 15. Me. I can tell you that it's not 15. Them. Source. Tons of textbooks, calculators, websites, being a math major. Dude, I said basic, not advanced math. What you're talking about is advanced math, not basic math. God damn, people will say anything, won't they? How does easy mode not make things easy? Wait, what? There's even a built-in easy mode. Yeah, with Toadette and Nabbit. Would you say SMB3, what is that? Super Mario Bros. 3? Is easy because you can give yourself infinite P-Wing with a game genie? Having an easy mode doesn't make the game easy. That's the literal point of an easy mode. An easy mode doesn't make a game easy, else it wouldn't need to have an easy mode. Then what does it do? Bro, I'm gonna need you to tell me what easy mode does. I like that. This phrase right here kills me. An easy mode doesn't make a game easy, else it wouldn't need to have an easy mode. You need to explain that entire statement. You're not... What? Are you high? Tetanus comes from cow manure, and if you get cut, just let it bleed. That'll naturally clean it. Soap and water? You're good. Actually, tetanus comes from something I can't pronounce, which can be present in manure. And no, it is not the most efficient way to prevent tetanus. Sorry, wrong. Nothing can enter your bloodstream if you let it bleed. You don't need poison in your body to stop anything. Immune system is amazing. This man is going to die within the next five years. Fun fact! Not every injury bleeds. Fun fact number two, not every bleeding completely cleanses the wound. Fun fact number three, that thing I can't pronounce does not even need to enter the bloodstream to produce tetanospasmin. Is that, what, is that what that word is? I've never seen that full word. Dictionary? I never heard of it. Dictionaries aren't real. They're a liberal hoax. It doesn't make sense to tip somebody anything because it is done to ensure prompt service. You receive no prompt service, but in fact, that person made you a bigger problem. What? To ensure prompt services. What are you ensuring? Because it seems to me it's not spelt tips. Also, ensure is to compensate. Ensure is to make something the case. Not sure how you came up with that one. Lol. Okay, why don't you adjust your glasses, nerd? I can prove 0 0.999 doesn't exist. Step one, 0.999 equals one minus one minus zero? Huh? What? <laughs> My unemployed boyfriend claims he has simple proof that breaks mathematics. I did see this. Can anyone verify this proof? I honestly think he might be crazy. Copying and pasting the text he sent me. Okay. This is false and I can prove it. Proceeds to not prove it. That means that 0 0.999 must be a fake number because having 0 0.999 existing will break the foundations of mathematics. I'm dumbfounded no one has ever realized this. Edit. I texted him what was said in the top comment, pointing out the mistakes, and he instantly dumped me. That man is going to die within the next five... Okay, he's not. He's not, but uh, he's 
gonna go his entire life thinking he's smarter than everyone on Earth. Smarter than the smartest people that have ever lived. The people that came up with everything he's claiming to disprove. Using what they created. I don't know. He's gonna have a very harsh life. Time to find a new boyfriend. I can prove that. Birds are dinosaurs. Crocodiles are not. There are a few literal dinosaurs left, like crocodiles and alligators, and more in the ocean, but all surviving ones are in the ocean. Those aren't dinosaurs. It has to do with the formation of the hip joint and leg positioning. Crocs sprawl, and dinosaurs' legs were directly under their bodies. Ha ha ha! You have no idea what you're talking about. Go do some research. Yes, they're considered living dinosaurs. They're a lot smaller now than they were back then, but they're the oldest living creature known to humans. The oldest living creature creature known to humans. Is that right? Is that correct? <laughs> I always love people that do that. You have no idea what we're talking about. Go do some research. Do some research. Bro, shut the hell up. Crocodiles are not dinosaurs, but both crocodiles and dinosaurs came from the crown group Archosaurs. Archosaurs? Yeah. Archosaurs were reptiles that included birds, crocodiles, pterosaurs, and dinosaurs. Modern day birds are descendants of feathered dinosaurs evolving over the last 65 million years. See, I love that because he says, go do some research. One Google later, boom, here's the answer to that. But he will come back going, no, 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 no. Here's some weird, creepy bullshit in the basement of Google's second page. This is the true stuff, by the way. It's actually the opposite. A cool guide to what blood groups you can or can't receive. Asshole O negative can receive from everyone but can't give to anyone. Huh? She didn't start a physical altercation. She threw a glass of wine in your face. There's no physical contact between you and her at that point. I know you think you had a gotcha there, but yes, John Cena would be a pussy for attacking someone over getting a glass of wine thrown in his face. You're an idiot, man. Yes, I do believe that splashing liquid on someone is tantamount to a form of assault. I don't think it counts as battery, but I do believe it is a form of assault. Just like sneezing or spitting on somebody on purpose or coughing on them, that is also a form of assault, I'm pretty sure. So maybe don't go splashing people with random sh** because it's not okay. Racist doesn't realize Al Bowley was a South African, or was South African, excuse me, while complaining about Africans, all right? England and the US were such lovely places before they became Africanized. Excuse me? Africa was doing just fine before the English turned up. You should look up Mr. Bowley's early life and how African it actually was. Wow. Red blood cells are not real cells. What? Yes, because even if we disregard non-human cells in the body like bacteria, most human cells by number are mature red blood cells, which do not have a nucleus and therefore no DNA. Ah ha 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 You think red blood cells are actually cells? Ah ha 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 Uh, yes? Are you really suggesting that they're not? Lol, they aren't by definition. By definition, they don't have, have organelles and a nucleus and don't divide. It's literally just an oxygen transport. By definition, by definition. Hang on, let me go look this up. All right, you wanna know what the first three words of the definition of red blood cells is? Red blood cells. You know the name? Cells? Also referred to as red cells? Are you serious? Huh? Austin is home to nearly 10% of the homeless population in the entire United States. And 94% of statistics quoted on Reddit are made up. There are 550,000 homeless people in America almost 5,000 in Austin. Do the math, genius. You move the decimal point twice to make 10% into 0.10. What happens, or 0 0.10, excuse me. What happens when you move the decimal point twice in 550,000? That's right, 5,500. Or at least that's the only way I can see them coming up with 10% of 550,000 is 5,500 instead of 55,000. By this guy's reasoning, Los Angeles has 160% of the remaining homeless population. Woo! I knew there was a lot there, but that statistic is huge. Customer leaves review for a new restaurant. Oh boy, this ought to be good. First time trying this place, never again. Found a huge piece of plastic in my food. Looks like the handle of something broke off. Obviously threw everything away in case there were smaller bits. Hi there. Uh, thank you for your review. I'm sorry to hear about this experience. By looking at the photo, we can tell that it's not a piece of plastic, but a cinnamon stick that we use as spice. 
in one of our dishes that we cook, of course, obviously. Please call us if you'd like to discuss this more with us. I'd be more than happy to hear your concerns and sort this out with you. Bro didn't know what a cinnamon stick was? Morgan Freeman. But did he go there? I don't know. This hurts my brain. Pretty sure that guy would turn the one-syllable name Aaron into a three-syllable name, Aaron. One syllable? Are you having a stroke? Two. Don't go there. You're gonna be featured in this group. Maybe that's what you want? Seriously? I thought you were kidding. Aaron is two symbols. I'll die on this hill. Post it. At me in the posting. I want to watch the roasting. Change your mind? Aaron. 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 Uh, I'm just gonna go with A.A. Ron. It's better. It's better, dude. All right. A plus B equals three. A plus B plus C equals six. A plus B plus C times four is what? 15? You failed math. 24. I don't know, dude. No, we eradicated it, asshole. No, smallpox will kill you, dumbass. Literally never seen a smallpox case in my life. Another fake disease to be scared of? Man, the fact that you ain't never seen a smallpox case in your life is pretty awesome, okay? That's pretty good. You wanna know why you haven't seen it? Because we destroyed it, dipsh**. Funny you say that, but no one's ever really observed a germ. We've seen this one before. <laughs> uh, yeah, this guy, the one at the end who says, have you seen one without the aid of a microscope? Yeah, microscopes aren't real. They're propaganda. Bro added the facepalm emoji in everything and commented the same comment twice to two different people. All right, let's see here. For all the medicated Barbies out there. Oh, well, Butrin was awful. All right, and I'm not rich enough for Vyvanse, Lexapro, or Zoloft. Where the hell is... What is that? Zoloft is the other name for that. It's literally the first one on there. <laughs> Excuse me? What? All right, how do you pronounce this? Uh, names are awful, okay? Seroquel is a fairly intense antipsychotic. Zoloft is an antidepressant. Yay. Humans are not animals. If you actually had brain cells, you would know. Well, you're disproving what you're saying already. I mean, your intellect level's down there with the common house cat, so you would definitely be an animal. Reading comprehension. Jesus. Saying it affects 1% of the people abusing the glitch is not synonymous with saying 1% of the people play hardcore. Hyperbolic example to reflect the principle was the issue. The people have spoken. It's done. Affects. It's actually effect? I could see how you'd become confused, though. Nice try. Effect is most commonly used as a noun meaning a result or consequence, as in cause and effect. Change was made negatively affected. No, dude, come on, bro. Are you kidding me? Come on. They don't know what a noun is either, apparently. Hey, to be fair, I don't even know what a word is. You've gotten off lucky. The smugness is killing me, all right? Are you actually serious? Yeah, there's no such thing as an asexual human. Okay, asexuals aren't going to be any less real no matter how many times you say it. YouTube is preventing me from educating you further on this, so you've gotten off lucky. What does that mean? All that nonsense is a bunch of quirky Zoomers that don't want to admit to being incompatible with most of the people they meet. <laughs> Whatever you say, dipsh**. I can't believe you actually said, sorry, uh, YouTube is too fun. You, you're lucky. You're lucky I'm gonna go back to watching, well, a bunch of names I don't actually want to name because I don't want to help platform them, so I'm just gonna keep them all shut. Sorry, but milk isn't dairy. Cheese is dairy. You try so hard to get it right when you're wrong, it's pathetic. Milk is considered dairy in at least six countries that I have lived in. How is it not dairy? Because this is America. In America, we do things the right way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they are literally called dairy cows. Yeah, but cows make cheese and milk. Different udders for different products. Read a book. Yes, but for some reason, they don't ever make cheese from the strawberry or chocolate cows. You know what? That's a good point. Where the hell is my strawberry and chocolate cheese? Not being able to name at least five African countries is wild. All right, let me try. Egypt, Uganda, South Africa, Congo, Nigeria, Rwanda. Bro said South Africa. That ain't a country, that's a direction. Huh? What? What? One more time. Balloons are made of plastic. Unnecessary plastic waste, OP. Balloons are filled with air, not plastic. And balloons themselves are made of rubber. And that many will probably fit in one or two trash bags, which is tiny compared to how much trash that congregates just from unclaimed freebies. I have spoken. 
<laughs> he got you. He got you. He's spoken. No, that's it. That's it. I do absolutely fucking despise balloons, though. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. I think one of the most wastefully stupid things I've ever seen in my life was a woman carrying a bundle of balloons out of my local grocery store. And yeah, you can get them there. And she had it wrapped in a plastic trash bag because it was raining. You know, I understand. Don't want to get my balloons wet. But there's something about balloons in general that just feels really stupid. I mean, I'm not saying you're dumb if you like them. I get it. Like, they're fun. They're goofy. <laughs> you know, it just, to me, hate them. Can't fucking stand them. Balloons are made of latex more often than not. Latex is the stabilized, vulcanized sap from a tree. Your shiny, flat, novelty number balloons are made of mylar, which is a plastic, but not your run-of-the-mill floating inverted teardrop, but oh, but your run-of-the-mill... Okay, I see. It does eventually biodegrade. Not great for the environment and still a hazard for wildlife, Sea turtles are known for mistaking them for jellyfish, for example, but not plastic. A lot of things are called rubber, some of which are plastic, silicone, polyurethane, neoprene, nitrile, all rubbers of a sort, and classed as plastics. Latex is, indeed, a notable exception, and humans have been using it, or humans have been using it significantly longer. Okay, I just, I don't know why I can't read. I have spoken. Yeah, that's what I said, dude. They've spoken, bro. That's it. All there is to it. You lose. OP is the kind of person who thinks spraying someone with a hose is assault. It literally is. No, yes it is. Look, I'm pretty sure that if you do anything to somebody else, especially if it makes physical contact with you and they did not want you to do it, that can count. That's not okay at all. If you spray me with a hose and I didn't say, yeah, go ahead or consent to having a water fight with you, yeah, dude, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. I draw the line at spreading misinformation. Check the facts before you look like red. All right, so red's the idiot, thank you. That's a tortoise. Turtles live in water. Nope, all tortoises are turtles. Not all turtles live in the water. You are so wrong. Tortoises have more rounded and domed shells, where turtles have thinner, more water dynamic shells. Water dynamic? Turtle shells are more streamlined to aid in swimming. One major key difference is that tortoises spend most of their time on land and turtles are adapted for life spent in water. All tortoises are in fact turtles. That is, they belong to the order of, well, stuff. Reptiles having bodies encased in a bony shell, but not all turtles are tortoises. Wow, Britannica, check that out, pal. Blue check musk stan, a tail in four parts. Oh no. The original owner of the X handle says Twitter took it without paying. They offered him merch and a tour of the office. Whoa, this is cap via, wait, what? Via telegraph, yet there's no article saying this. Huh? You know, I thought the guy himself said that. <laughs> it is kind of lame. You know, I understand kind of, but this rebrand has been so pathetic that he just has to take an active at from somebody. Like, bro, you couldn't just make a different one? No, not a different handle. I mean, you've got the inner workings of the website at your fingertips. You couldn't just allow for another X? Who gives a sh Is it literally impossible to have two of the same at? I mean, what's gonna happen? Someone looks it up and they both pop up? <gasps> oh my god. I mean, you're gonna verify yourself as the legit one anyway, right? New! Former owner of Twitter's X handle tells me how he didn't sell the account. Twitter took it. They offered him some merch. There you go. Read the article. The previous owner of the X account didn't say any of this. Some merch and to meet with management if I like, he told me, referring to what the company did offer him in its email. It's unclear if the swag would be Twitter or X related. Oh well, guess that's how it goes. Australia, sorry, Australia has one state because they have 50 states that are the size of most countries. Very vague to say that you're from one of basically 50 country-sized states, eh? I'm from Europe would be a near equivalent. So, do you think it would be vague to say you're from Australia? Australia has one state, and yeah, I'd probably want to... Uh, uh, ha, ha, hold on, hold on, ha, wait, wait a minute. Boy, oh boy, there's sure a lot more than just one of anything down there when you look it up for four seconds. Tea is not made from coffee beans, therefore it's not a coffee. Well, you're not from the US and you still speak English, so same thing. I'm from England, and so I speak English. No, you speak British. I'm French, not stupid. The USA was founded in 1776. You think the English language didn't exist before then? <laughs> 
Oh. I feel it's toxic and actually causes skin cancer, and Big Pharma lied to us saying the sun causes skin cancer. Did George Washington have skin cancer? No. Did they have sunscreen? No. George Washington literally had skin cancer. It was removed in 1794 by Dr. James Tate. What? Hang on a minute. Damn. A two-second Google search, the source being the National Library of Medicine, a government site, says that he survived to face serious illnesses, including anthrax, pneumonia, and skin cancer. Good God. I mean, it makes sense. I get it. No protection other than hot bull clothing back then. Tenant was using my Netflix. Confidently, incorrectly asserts sharing is allowed. Wait, what? Netflix was working yesterday and other days. Today it's asking to set up a new account. I'm amazed it ever worked. Netflix doesn't permit a single account being shared between households. Well, they... I think they used to. They even tweeted saying love is sharing a password. Just because the new rules have finally started going into effect doesn't mean that they didn't endorse it a little bit. I don't even use my account. My mother does. I basically pay for it for her. Netflix isn't included in the rent. <laughs> really? It has been working, but today it is not. And yes, you can share Netflix account. Of course you can. We sure could, but they're assholes and they changed the rules on us. Running is way more mental than physical. Huh? Most humans on Earth physically can easily run a seven to eight minute mile. They're just mentally not strong enough to do so. If you're a teen slash college aged man, running a six minute mile is possible for most. In this situation, you'll be dead if you don't run, so the mental barrier is non-existent. What? Nah, the average person's physical cardiovascular endurance is not that good. It's not a mental thing. Very true. And I don't know, if you're talking about like a fight or flight situation, sure, a bunch of people can do incredible things when they're full of adrenaline, you know? That kind of negates a lot of stuff, but hey, over the next couple days, you're gonna feel it. Hey everyone, it's me, Robin. I don't mean to scare you like this. I know I normally don't show my face here on MK. I just wanted to pop in really quick and let you guys know that I started a new channel of my own. No, I'm not going anywhere here on MK. You can find this new channel at the link in the description below or in the sub box area of the main MK channel. I'm right down at the bottom of the page with the other crew. Anyway, I'll let you guys get back to the content you came here for and I hope to see you over on my new channel. The question was, what's the answer to 3 plus 3 times 3? It's the audacity of the nice try, though, for me. I don't even know if that's how you read these equations out loud. I've probably been saying it wrong this whole time. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. How the hell is it 12? The way she said it could have been 12 or 18. We don't have an efficient way to verbalize parentheses, but the pause kind of made it seem like the times 3 was separated. 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 plus 3 is 12. The question is 3 plus 3 times 3, not 3 times 3 plus 3. Nice try, though. Okay. I've learned to avoid those kinds of Facebook posts like the plague. They infuriate me. Even the people who know PEMDAS and comment the correct answer do it so proudly or even with a little bit of the smug. Like, congrats, you got an entry-level math question right. Ah, PEMDAS. Haven't heard that in a while. Definitely read some tidbit about it somewhere. But now they're thinking they're an expert on it. You should look into what a calorie actually is. They determine a calorie by combusting food in a device called a bomb cl calor calorimeter? calorimeter? Whatever. By measuring how much of that particular food they need to burn to raise the temperature of one gram of water one degree Celsius. Okay, now you tell me what that has to do with human nutrition? Does your body burn food to raise your body temperature? And is that how we metabolize food? Excuse me? Are you stupid? The UK isn't a country. Yes, it is, dumbass. There's a capital for each. Or it's not for... No, capital each for Wales, England, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. But London is the capital of the UK and England. Northern Ireland. Just say Ireland. Seriously? There's Ireland the country and Northern Ireland, which is part of the UK. Different things. Northern Ireland's part of Ireland. Why don't we ask Irish people about this one? Do they have any feelings here? The last comment is technically true. Northern Ireland is part of Ireland, or part of the island of Ireland. This isn't the whole thing. They meant politically and stuff. I know they weren't talking about actual location. Give it time. <laughs> Lycanthrope doesn't mean werewolf. It means a person that changes into an animal man. It might also be just an animal person, but classically meant a were-rat, were-bear, werewolf, etc. That becomes a half-animal or full animal under certain circumstances, such as a full moon. Google says Oxford Dictionary Lycanthrope a werewolf. Also, the guy is hairy like a werewolf in the comment or er, comic. Excuse me, I almost read comments. I link Oxford Dictionary. You link Forgotten Realms Fandom Wiki. You win. I showed an example of what I said. I win. Lycanthropy literally comes from the name of the f 
fucking king of wolves in Greek mythology. It's literally a king's name. He was turned into a wolf, a person who turned into an animal. Try Google, okay? Lycanthrope, which traces back through Latin to a Greek combination of like from lycos, meaning wolf, and anthropos, meaning human being. Alrighty then, that's no moon. Oh, sh Exploring the universe from a backyard in Arizona, astrophotographer Andrew McCarthy captured the International Space Station slipping across the moon's face, gently kissing the Tycho Crater. Image credit, Andrew McCarthy via Twitter. That's no moon. It's a space station. Yeah, good joke. It's a space station passing in front of a moon. So eager to troll, you can't bother to find out what you're trolling. Typical Jackaloon. You know? Jackaloon is a new one. I think I'll use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, in your eagerness, you may have missed this. Jackaloon is actually adorable. Fact. God has never made a single drop of alcohol. The Earth has never produced a single drop of alcohol. 100% of all wine and alcohol is manufactured by fallen men. Nothing good ever comes out of alcohol. Can you stop saying alcohol? Also, Jesus turned water into wine. This American thinking America wrote the dictionary? I'm sure we've got our own dipshit version, but we didn't write it. Bro, we wrote the dictionary. Be quiet. The most used dictionary in the world is the Oxford English Dictionary. It is also the most used in America and the one that Harvard University asks its students to use. The Oxford English Dictionary is written by professors at Oxford University in Oxford, England, and is published by Oxford University Press, also in Oxford, England. Also, the first ever dictionary was Robert Caudry's Table Alphabetical, written in 1604, published in London, England. I mean, yeah, I get it, I'm stupid, okay? <laughs> I didn't choose to be born in the US, I hate it!